Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Europa Universalis 4. The Paradox uh, Grand Strategy Games. And um, yeah, let's try my first attempt at this. I've not played this at all. So uh, let's do this. And uh, yeah, I'm not streaming at 1080p, I'm uh, sorry, at 720p because my computer's already having a lot of problems with this. I'm having. 15 OB FPS on OBS already, so oh boy, I hope my computer can handle this. Um, anyway, uh, let's start. And yeah, let's start with the tutorial because really I have not played this game at all. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this at least, but uh, let's just start with that. And um, now we wait. And maybe we should get Mono into the call as well. He has some EU4 experience at least. Let's, uh, let's do things here. Yeah, lots and lots of options. Well, um, well, this is about as far as I learned. You can pause the game, yeah, and. Pause it's important. Yeah, Mono. Mono, call me. Uh, let's do this. That way you can also talk when I have a chance to read this. <laughs> because reading and streaming... And... Uh, following tutorials. And yeah, the FPS is pretty low. I have a new video card actually, but it doesn't oh, help that much. And I think I pressed some wrong buttons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oops. Well, that gives me a chance to turn down some more options. Because, uh, yeah, low, low FPS. And maybe they start the video. Nah. And yeah. That was the exit button apparently. And I'm trying to read chat and game at the same time. And that's not really working already. So. <laughs> Yay for terrible stream ideas. Oh. Are you actually calling me stupid Skype doesn't even show it be, uh, because I'm on the uh, do not disturb in Skype. <laughs> you worst. <laughs> hey, yeah, and I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Reading reading chat and the game. Hmm. Hi chat. It's me. It's not you. <laughs> Ah. It's still the weird Dutch guy. It, it's the other weird Dutch guy. <laughs> yeah. The one yep. who tends to get dragged into the terrible screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you're always there. <laughs> 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 and you're also terrible. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Stream shuffle night ever. Oh. <laughs> hey, sure, though. That uh, looks amazing, that game. Huh? I want that. Shuffle night has been rather nice so far. Nice, uh also, I think, uh, are we crashing or... Oh, no, just was taking a long, long time. Um, okay. Computer dying. Yeah. Um, I think I best put down all the options. Um, unfortunately, there's not real settings for to do all everything at once. Uh, any tips from the chat for something which really saves a lot of FPS? Like post effects. Probably don't need that. Bloom. Um, let's see. Moving units, so let's leave that on. Yeah, let's leave that on. Rivers and borders and particles, that's something you want to see. Your particles can go lower. And it's a GeForce uh, uh, 610. 
It's 30 bucks, it's crap, but uh, it's better than my old one. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Uh, do you need reflections? Were, were there reflections in there? Um, I don't know. Yes, there were. Yeah. And shadows, who need shadows? We don't need shadows. Yeah. Um, There's no shadows on the map. No. Come on. Shadows of what? Still, uh, I'm in a main menu here, and it's 10 FPS. So uh, this is going to be painful. The the main menu is pretty. <laughs> times. Okay. Uh, in game is better. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, okay. The thing is, of course, like whenever I play the game, I always have it on the ooh country colors because why no. would I be staring at the green lands of of Doom? Yeah. <laughs> I think you already killed uh, Bloom. Ricky. Yeah, I think uh, most of those are killed at the moment. Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's not exit the campaign. Uh, well, now you can you can read what's going on in the chat, and I can read what's going on in the game. <laughs> okay, wow. I'll be your, uh, <laughs> chat master. Yeah, that works. Uh, at least for this tutorial here. Um. Controlling the camera. Turn and then. Did you... Yeah, I think yeah, I also yeah, turned them off. Yeah. Turned all of them off. You turned off reflection, shadows, bloom, post effects, and I could have sworn there was another one. Yeah. I left trees and stuff like that, but. Yeah. That seems pretty okay, like this. I've seen worse. Yeah. Um, an FPS? Oh, we're at 25 FPS now, so yeah, the game is better in than the main menu. Weird. <laughs> okay. See, I, I know my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still remember the fact that even my computer was kind of chugging, going, uh, main menu. Weird. Maybe it's because it's you see the entirety of Europe or something. Yeah. I don't know. Um, let's see. Captain Duck needs to learn the game first before he's going to challenge other people to multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I need to find something. And um, we have learned how to control the camera. Wow. Wow. Um, I, I think it might just be the fact that streaming also adds pressure on the computer. So oh, it does, yeah. It's not playing on a potato, but. It is uh, definitely uh, very taxing. That's also why I got this video card. I was trying to use the NVIDIA Shadowplay thingy. But it uh, doesn't work because my processor is too old. God damn. <laughs> Choose your upgrades wisely. <sighs> yeah, but with famous was 30 bucks and it's still better than my old card. <laughs> and I have DirectX 11 now, so yay. <laughs> yeah, for, for 30. Eh, for yeah, exactly. Cheap upgrade. Um, so what did the game want with me now? Um, uh, I definitely really shouldn't do that. Yeah, I should have done the tutorial beforehand. Perhaps. Perhaps. But now but everybody can learn alongside with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the idea. And everyone can enjoy the train wreck. <laughs> Choo choo. <laughs> choo choo. Um, let's see. And oh wow, we have 18 viewers already. So uh, thanks everyone for not watching uh, Summer Games Done Quick and watching this. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, of course. That's why uh, people might, necess might not necessarily be. Here. Yeah, I was watching a lot of that. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Now we attach to transport. I haven't watched that much of it. Uh, hmm? I think, like, I well. saw uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts and no. you get before that. Yeah. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, that run was amazing. That's uh, so much pain with the scythe. Scythe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and th yeah, other games as well. They ran uh, Metal Wolf Chaos today, and yeah, it's always a fun game. Let's see. Um, Richard. Oh. <laughs> Richard. And I really need to focus and read these things. Um, yeah, you really should. 
Yeah. Oh. The Queen Elt port selected. So my navy is here somewhere? Oh yeah, somebody mentions you can use spacebar to pause and unpause. Yeah. That, uh, I really should pause when I'm selecting things like this. Yeah. Um, so, where are the boats then? I am reading your things, Christine. <laughs> I'm try I'll try to, Christine. He's a buddy of mine who tried to, for me to get this game like years ago. Or the uh, Crusader Kings and stuff like that. And he, yeah. um, they are in transport, so how do I transport them now? You've already found the button, right? No. Touch to transport or do that again, I guess. Or maybe I should select more. I'm really trying to remember how it went. I think you just put them onto the boat. Just I think that. I did it. Um, now select the Royal Navy. So you um, the well, how do I do that? Or, ah, here, there's a little other icon over here. Yeah. Ah, so okay. If I remember correctly, you don't really see the troops disappear or something, but more standing next to the ship and then they leave. <laughs> okay. When you tell the ship to leave the fleet. Ah, so they, uh, then they go in, basically. Yeah. Um... Okay, and I had no idea. People are also asking you to switch to the political map mode. No. So, you see Let's the mini map at the bottom right, and mm -hmm. there's all those fancy buttons there, and one of them is the political map mode. Okay. We'll check in a second. Um, just send him to the Irish Sea. That's it. And then in pause. I'm still learning the fucking controls. <laughs> or if I may <laughs> Um, disembark, press transport, right click Meath, mm -hmm. and which one is Meath? Uh, the one with the arrow, probably. Probably. But, yeah. Uh, then gotta run time again, or time is running. What is? What do you mean we don't need you for the <laughs> But trust me, I'm, I'm not an expert. Like, I kind of know the basic things, and and then I look at the screen and go, How the fuck do you start this? Like, yeah. It's like, I don't I don't have troops they immediately do shit. It's yeah. And I have still no idea what I'm really looking at. I'm trying to follow the tutorial, so... <laughs> Gotta learn that. And uh, there's lots of things happening. Oh, I paused the game, I think, or... Yeah, that's why it wasn't going. So, even when the game is paused, you hear the the sound. Yeah, okay. I'm stabbing. <laughs> Important to know. Okay. And reconquer Meath. So, now I just wait. Uh, until the siege is done. Yep. Okay. Is there like a timer saying how long you, it will take? Oh, that thing over there. You see a bar next to the castle, and that's kind of the pro well, the the percentage even. Okay. The percentage gives you an indication of how far you are. Yeah. It's uh, kind of their morale or your progress. Uh, the morale of your own army is the green bar next to the number. Okay. Oh. Apparently we'll see. don't hear any game sound, which uh, hmm. I would have mentioned earlier if it wasn't for the fact that I have to mute your stream. So yeah, <laughs> I think the game sound should be there. I'm hearing the game sound. Hmm. So it's just slow. The game sound, the music has low and high parts. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Um, anyway, trying to read it. <laughs> Other people hearing the game sounds? People? Yeah. Good question. Um, so we just click text. Um, then yeah, they have infantry and uh, regiment sort of stuff. Cute things. A regiment is thousand manpower, and I have a manpower here, so thirty-seven thousand basically. You can also see the the manpower. Like nationwide manpower at the top. Yeah. Oh. 
I selected the manpower, but my manpower grew. And maybe uh, that's a tutorial be, thing. Yeah, probably a tutorial thing. Yeah. That's weird. Um, sure, have some free manpower, so <laughs> so you don't fuck up, even in the tutorial. Yeah. Um, so, back. So the game sounds are apparently really low. Okay. Um... I could turn that up a little bit if I remember the menu and I didn't stop. So does S get the menu here? Yeah. You can turn it up a little bit. Be very careful with where you click. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's not exit again. <laughs> um, so let's build a ship. Um, let's build a cheapo ship. You can build buildings, and here you get uh, ooh, all the shift building things. <laughs> and um, and I uh, hear you need the yeah, text fee as well, from what I remember uh, from video. Yeah, essentially, you the further you go into the tech tree, the more buildings you unlock, the more yeah. stuff you build. Uh, the tech is essentially base. There's like three trees, your military, diplomatic, and administrative. Okay. So trees. And uh, you earn points in both those three sort of ways, and then you spend those points into their represent uh, respective trees to continue along your research. Okay. Oh, well, we'll see that when we get to it. Um. The, the cost is also kind of based with uh, how far you in you are with your resource, like if you're really advanced, there's going to be a massive penalty, of course, on uh, the amount, or rather you need a far larger amount okay. than otherwise. Yeah. Whereas if you're already like low on technology, then you don't need as much for the next tier. It's okay. based on how far the entire world kind of is technology wise. Yeah. The Okay, sort of linked tech levels, basically, yeah. Uh, but not. <laughs> um, have, do I have five already? Um, I should select five of these, but well, more is probably also okay. How do I uh, accept this now, basically? Uh, you just uh, let it run. So oh. on pause, then they just. And pause. Ah, okay. There, there's the palsy and stuff again. And that's how you recruit things. Apparently, you get the advice that you shouldn't build too much buildings, except for forts. Okay. We'll see. And uh, for multiplayer, first I'll need to learn this game. <laughs> Otherwise it would take too long. <laughs> Um, and so these guys... Then, even then, you're probably gonna get your ass kicked. So oh, yeah, definitely. Just make sure he's a friend and rule the world together. Yeah. Exactly. Um... Revolt supporters, oh dear. You have to declare war on Leicester. How do we do that? Uh, so, clicking on Leicester and then... Oh, uh, there's Lester. Yeah, you have the little shield thing. I think. Um, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I last played. And it will open up the entire diplomacy options. Claim on this province. Make oh, yeah, just the diplomacy button, even. Fuck. I'm done. <laughs> hmm. Um, diplomacy. Where do I go deeper into diplomacy then? Um. Buttons. <laughs> button. Hmm? Oh, here. There. Did right you in the fucking the middle. Button? It is not not see it. <laughs> I was looking at all the false small icons. Maybe it was like an icon, but uh, no. It actually has said the word diplomacy. Um. Well, yeah. Doing things at the same time. 
Uh, oh, here comes the Casus Belli. Uh, you, need, you need a reason for war, otherwise you get problems. Yep, that, that is what Casus Belli means. Basically. Yeah. Or case for war, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. Though, what is nice is that unlike Crusader Kings 2, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually kinda try and declare war without really having a Casus Belli. It's just that people get really unhappy because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good way to get people against you and form coalition. <laughs> That's uh, one way to do it. I've uh, declared war. Yay. What's Night. also nice is, is that when you've won a war and you can make your demands, uh, you can just add provinces that weren't in the original uh, Cassus Belly to it. Okay. So you can you come out with more than just the the one province you've got a claim on. Ah, uh, yeah, I got uh, really but, abused that. Yeah. But the diplomacy. It, yeah, but uh, of course, again, like, that was not originally what you were going at war with, so people get more upset, sort of. Hmm. Uh, do I still have an army there? Is that enough? Probably it's the tutorial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jinjin says, uh, you lose two stability and take two points of war exhaustion instantly if you don't have Cass's belly. Okay. <laughs> that still says nothing to me, but we'll learn. <laughs> uh, stability is important. Uh, stability is the icon, uh, you see the, oh, fuck's sake, the Wegenschaal, uh, the icon up there. Oh, yeah, the... Uh, a plus three, like, people are happy and you won't have... That's my happiness meter, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's sort of your happiness meter, and the, the less stability you have, the more chance people start rebelling. And so, yes. Uh, Got to be burned out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's bad. Yeah. Um, let's see, now I need to do a peace treaty, apparently. And that's also in diplomacy. The Cassius belly. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Um, pull annexation. Do we demand that? Uh, I do need to turn that on, I guess. And then send demand. If I want it. You essentially uh, go through whatever list you have available. So you can also demand... Uh, countries that have vassals to release their vassals and such. Yeah. So lots of lots of things. So th there's yeah. lots of lots of things in diplomacy. <laughs> the whole game is diplomacy basically. Uh full ac annexation is essentially just yeah, give all your lands to me. You don't need okay. to Yeah. Uh that was the basic tutorial. Hooray <laughs> Now we can really go back to the main menu. Wow. Okay, well, yeah, I have a basic idea of buttons, but no strategy. <laughs> hmm. Just get familiar with the entire game. Yeah, that first, there's still, there's still like a thousand buttons. I have no idea what to do. They do yet. <laughs> I'm sure they'll. They'll teach you in the next tutorial. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a second one. The uh, advanced tutorial. Let uh, let's better do that. I'm gonna play play the Ottomans, says Joris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll probably there's a beginner campaign over there. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh, beginner campaign is just another tutorial thing. Okay. Really. Well, we'll see that. If I remember correctly, it might teach you about colonization and such. Okay. Because, you know, Spanish. Oh, yeah, that's important. <laughs> colonization um, is a, a pretty big deal, sort of, in this game. Yeah. Which is also kind of why I prefer it over Crusader Kings, because I just like empires spreading instead of... Dying. That is nice, yeah. Going wide and see if uh, it's also something I like. Uh, so, yeah. It's just 
I really hate dealing with prissy little noblemen who have <laughs> their own little shitty schemes. Yeah. And plan for nations and countries. Fuck him. All hail the motherland <laughs> and the fatherland and all that. Mm hmm. Uh, and meanwhile, we're going by all the options here: yeah, gold, manpower, uh, happiness, stability, prestige. That has to do with war and stuff, I think. Morale, mm -hmm. uh, as it says. Better relations over time. Um, the tradition reduces the national revolt risk. Um, what the hell is this? Why is it just one one note? <laughs> this is Venice tutorial. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, I... Well, we'll see. It has to do with stability, apparently. Yeah. Um, like there's various forms of government, so you just have the plain old, "Hey, I'm the king." Uh, but mm -hmm. Venice, of course, is a republic, not a kingdom. So ah, and have to they do with have slightly length. different rules when it comes to that. Yeah. Now you gotta work for your look at your uh, successors and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you. There's rules to it. I'm just trying to stay at a hundred. Hundred mm -hmm. is a good number. Uh, the king also, as soon as he has uh, credibility, which is essentially uh, the same thing. Okay. And these are events. Uh, production interface to build units quickly. And... Yeah. The Holy Roman Empire, huh? Oh, apparently you can become a kingdom. What? Like Why is all these other people in the chat probably know this game way better than I, and I'm just... ...giving you horrible advice. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> that's the chat. Fine. The problem is the chatters are saying so much things which uh, I have no idea of yet. So I'm trying to ignore it a little bit. <laughs> it's yeah. too much information for me at the moment. It'll change soon, probably. But yeah. So why is there a Holy Roman Empire, but not the uh, church? I guess. So with that, and who is the most important things? The Holy Roman Empire, yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't really messed with the Holy Roman Empire so far. Okay. Um. I, I, I find it very... Just scary. Okay. Having <laughs> <laughs> to deal so with something like that, no. So it can also go wrong, probably, yeah. Um... Oh. Said Outliner? Republics are affected by republic traditions, so normal countries are affected by... Hmm? Yeah. Have national revolt risk. <laughs> Use... <laughs> and Tilda for cheating! I know, <laughs> I know that very well! Thanks. <laughs> wow. Already. <laughs> no thanks. I, I wasn't going to suggest that yet, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, again, too much information. All the things I have to read. <laughs> just, just, uh, just, I'll, I'll shut up. Okay. Oh, and here's the map boats. Oh, so those buttons are here, and here you get all the fancy colors. Yeah. Fancy colors. Fancy the colors. Just have the entire map in fancy colors. Awesome. What more do you want? Um. Oh, that's the menu. And... What are buttons here? Yep. Okay. Um, well, that was that. Um, more terrain map mode. There's a lot of different map modes to it. Uh, now it's going to explain them. <laughs> Frame map mode is probably the dumbest. It looks nice. <laughs> yeah, but 
Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, political seems. Um, what's this trade? Where? Uh, yeah, for yeah. trading. He, he does say something like, "There's the little arrow button, the round button." Next to all the map modes, and there you can select even more map modes. Oh boy! Hi. <laughs> hey, there's a, a fucking ton of them. Yep. Okay. Um, Some are pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. Um, okay, so trade maps. Uh, huh, why is it zero now? And ah, uh, that changes. But basically, Venice is a very good trade spot in Genoa and. Tunis, yeah, makes sense. Um, Imperial map modes, that's the Holy Roman Empire again, which has its own mode and is important, apparently. <laughs> what is Crestane going on about? Don't click what? What? <laughs> All the extra map modes. <laughs> uh, too late, indeed. Um, Not a problem. <laughs> religious map mode. Oh, here we have the religions. Catholic, yep. Orthodontic, Sunni. There's Sunni over there. <laughs> um, also, there's not much of the world map yet, so that's why it's weird. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, okay. Like Africa is filled with... Uh, A sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sunni is like North Africa, yeah. It's like... They spread pretty far. Uh, I Apparently. mean, Mali was also famous because, of course, the the Malinese mm. king Mansa Musa yeah. went on this big old honking journey to uh, to Mecca because <laughs> he was Muslim. And along the way, he spent all of his money. No. And was still fucking rich at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that's, and that's why uh, people got really interested suddenly in the, like. North Western Africa because some, there was this this king Mansa Musa who just <laughs> spilled money everywhere and just collapsed the economy as, as he was traveling. <laughs> That's uh, amazing, yeah. History. Uh, if you can spend it, do it. <laughs> History is great. <laughs> um. Okay, so there's uh, literally a thousand boats. Yeah. What? Uh, I, I assumed Duck knew what Sunni was, maybe. Yeah, that I know. Um. <laughs> Finally, a new overcomplicated game to watch. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now it's extra complicated because I don't know. <laughs> um. Okay, um. Back to Venice. Venice. Trade buildings. Uh, resolution. Sure all that. Did Did you assign your merchants? Uh, no. You, uh, yes. No. What the hell is no. a merchant? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we'll see in a moment. Probably, I, I think we're doing that. The tutorial will probably eventually mention the merchants. Yeah. Uh, already are. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Collect from trade in the Venice trade. New. To continue. Um, oh, and there's three merchants, and I have to choose one. Uh, you can, well, you have three merchants. You can just place them where you see yeah. fit. So probably one where you have a lot of trade power, you want there to collect, and then probably you're going to use the. Uh, you, you'll notice the trade routes. I'm not sure if you can see it now. Um, mm -hmm. But they have arrows to kind of indicate where the trade streams towards. Yeah. So uh, if you have a, a merchant kind of further up, you can have him direct more trade downwards and all that. Okay. Well, you can use it for trade, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go it later. Yeah. More trade. So just collect from. Uh, yeah. You see the arrows. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's saying me to place things there. Um, yep. So, this, these are different things. Venetia and Venice is a button over here. I think. Uh, you're, you're 
I, I think he does know that Merchant is a tradesman. Oh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> Come on. I don't think his English is that bad. Jeez, yeah. I still have to figure out what they do in this game. So where are those arrows pointing? That's pointing far, far away. So here I should send a merchant or something. Uh, um, someone thanking you for all the dwarf fortress tutorials over the year. <laughs> no problem. There's going to be more dwarf fortress soon when the new game is out. Um. You keep saying that. Yep. I keep saying that. But it's soon now. It's soon. Soon? Really? Really? Yeah. July it's supposed to come out. Hmm. Alexandria and that's Egypt. Ah, I need to press on the the button here. Um. Okay. I think I sent him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I finally see what you meant with click on this button. Yeah. No. Yeah. Correct. Don't don't click on the land, but click on the click on the button. Uh, when yep. when you're in trade mode, apparently. Exactly. It's like yeah, stupid little things. And I need to know what I'm supposed to be looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I need to everything as a button. Yeah. Okay. Oh fuck me. <laughs> Game of maps and buttons. Yeah. Um, your ship in port in Venetia. So here's Venetia, and there's a little boat. And protect trade. Yeah. In a trade note, or I should send it somewhere else. Your, uh, your, when you. Um, uh, and pause. Uh, yeah. So you select which area you should protect, and uh, it'll just automatically do that. It'll go back and forth. Okay. And that's uh, in the Mediterranean. It's a bit well. It, it still affects the money that you get from the trade routes because hey, it's protected by your fleet. Uh, but it's also handy to kind of. Make sure that pirates don't spawn. Uh, that's not of a problem in the Mediterranean, of course. But I'm still not sure I'm doing this correctly. So you. Oh, I think I did it now. Yeah. Okay. So right-click on the button then. Uh, and send. Yeah. And you want, to, of course, to send it to the. To the area where you have the most power in. So that was Venice. Okay. Venice area. Yeah. Uh, okay. Only. The like light frigates protect the area, so you have not very much protection. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think Galley also protects. Uh, so there's essentially four ship types. There's the transport. There's the Galley, which is good huh. for inland seas. There's the light frigate, and then there's the the big hunking heavy frigates. Hmm. The light frigates protect. Uh, can protect trade routes. Galleys as well, probably. Uh, galleys are better at inland seas, light frigates are better at um, the open seas, and the heavy frigates is just, hi, I'm gonna stop your face. Yeah. And transports are useless. <laughs> so for transporting. Ah, okay, galleys do not give trade power, so in fact, galleys are even more worthless than I thought. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> galleys are. Nah. Uh, useless boats. Oh dear. The the main problem, of course, is that you, the only reason you ever you want to use them if you're in the Mediterranean, I guess, because if there's not many inland seas, mm. Mediterranean is the only one that really yeah. is important. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that that's what I said, Ryan. Um. Oh, we're done with the end of the chapter. Okay. Um. So yeah, not really sure what I'm completely all learned. Uh, oh, okay. okay. So, so galleys get really powerful in inland seas. Ah, and so uh, Savant is here. Speedy Savant. He gave me the game, and uh, yeah, I'm streaming it and, uh, and train wrecking it. 
<laughs> choo choo. <laughs> uh, uh, I really shouldn't have done this because, yeah, reading and chat and game, it's virtually impossible. Well, turn up reading chat, hopefully, because that's what I've been doing for you. Yeah, I have, I have to glance at it every couple of no. seconds. <laughs> I'm the chat master. Norse Wizard, yeah, I posted it in the fucking Reddit thread. <laughs> I've got 10,000 comments. And uh, exactly, speed is a I'll uh, run into walls and probably die, but uh, losing is fun. Okay, so the, the Spanish campaign thing. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to do a thing now. Yep. Yay. Okay, um, but we're still in tutorial mode, so let's do that. Exactly. It's still just a pure and simple tutorial. Which is yeah, nice. exactly. Um, a legend? Oh, again, build things. Mm -hmm. So build these and build five land units. Um, so there's prices on these as well. I guess that'll change as well if you build like forges and stuff like that. You mean uh, on the, the merchants? And yeah, or the, like I'm building units here and. I think like. Uh, it depends. Only really speed up how fast you recruit and all that. Yeah, some build in 74 days and some in 79. Mm -hmm. So that also depends a lot. On the the region. Yeah. This. Well, let's choose some of the lower ones. Uh, need five. That's enough. If I remember correctly, you're supposed to invade that uh, province to the south, aren't you? Okay. Well, could have been closer, but fuck that. Yeah. Oh, and here's the map modes. You can gather up your army before. Uh, yeah. I, th I think that no trail of tears was where you prevent any European country from getting into America. <laughs> well, that that must be very tough. Um. Let's uh, center everyone. Um, what does it want to do? Select the mission, finish the reconquista. Um, missions and decisions tab. What's that? Um, missions tab. <laughs> There's so many things. What is the mission stab? <laughs> huh. Also, you still there? Hello? Well, the call is still running, so I think I'm online, but I can't hear you, Monoa. I am. Um and especially now, well, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be looking. Uh, missions and decisions. Well, it should be here somewhere. Um, treasury, manpower, that sort of things. Advisor slots. No mission selected. Um, F1, Captain Duck. Um, no. The big shield. My apologies. Ah. I got uh, interrupted. Top left corner. Oh, oh, this this is a fucking button. <sighs> <laughs> button. Fuck. Yeah. Click the mission thing button. Well, what the hell is a missions button? <laughs> it's a shield, problem. It's the my shield apparently. Yeah, you click on your own shield. To, yeah. Uh, see your own kind of stuff. You see all the sub menus there. 
There's research and religion and here's all, all sort of stuff. Okay, all and here you get to other things like the trade screen and yep. technology and ideas and uh, here's missions and decisions. Uh sure probably could also have gone trade and um does it also go to the same place? No. Never mind. Okay. Um so here missions. Yep. And there's already a big old pointer. Yeah. Do that. Uh. Strike to read the chat again. Um wrong me. Now I clicked it. Um Can you get also get more information or just have to click the little envelope? Okay. Uh, the envelope is accepting it and if you hold it over the question mark you can kinda see other things about it. Okay. Um now we have to do war again. Uh first let's like get those units together. Mm -hmm. Um like here. Also click that hanging flag with the X and scrolls. What? Oh dear. The X and scrolls. Um. And oh, okay. Well, troops are together. Uh, now we're supposed to declare war again. That was diplomacy. Yep. Declare war. We have a. Castle's belly, apparently. Time to crush the the four <laughs> regiments <laughs> with your twenty-two. <laughs> awesome. Gotta love death stacks. <laughs> uh, though it is important to kind of point out that, uh, like, mm -hmm. if they have a really good general and you don't have a general on your side, then they can really just destroy oh. your death stack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a. Uh... Uh, generals are really important in fights. They can really make a big difference. Okay. Oh yeah. Hot G merges selected units in a province into one army. Uh, is there also a button for that? Uh, yes, so if you just have hmm. your entire army and then... Uh, I want to describe it, but hold on. I, were, I can't see the menu anymore, but maybe that's tutorial. Oh um, maybe I need to do this, apparently. War overview, here you see things about the war. This doesn't say anything to me yet. Um, I, I have a war scroll. 100%. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Um, okay, so now can I select my army? Yes, now I can. Yeah. Okay. That was a tutorial thing. Okay, yeah. annoying. That was this tutorial getting in the way. <sighs> yeah. Um, so now I can send them there and attacking and everything goes on its own, basically. Yep. But yeah, um, if you see the button when you had all your armies selected... No, yeah. Did you use that or did you press G because it's still kind of... Uh, it still haven't merged them yet, I think. <laughs> so, there's the button with the two arrows going uh, to... Oh, merge your selected units here. And now... Hmm, can I see my units again? And I just get a seat screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you need to do two things at once. I, I, I'm a malevolent god now, I guess. It's the chat. Hmm. Um. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, and I can also use this to select uh, and sue for peace. Um. Exactly. That's an easy way to get there. Um, sure, send them on. I got Grenada. And that was the tutorial, or no? No, 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 no. Um, Not yet, the ruler. Frankly, like, the point of this tutorial is also to teach you about the decisions. 
Oh boy. Like, national decision, and the, the decision they're going to teach you about is uh, one specific to Castile, where Castile and Aragorn will merge into Spain. Ah, uh, like that thing uh, where you have to create the Netherlands and things like that. Yeah, uh, essentially. And you do that you, this way. You like need to meet the certain requirements. Requ yeah. Demanded from the national decision. Once you've met them, you can just kind of go, okay, time to merge. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now we can choose an advisor. Um. They uh, and here the cost matters and. Yeah. Yeah, how good they are. They cost gold and monthly also. What they do. Uh, um, and how old they are. <laughs> um, so of course, if they're older, then uh, they might just bite the dust. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, do Mr. Cheapo over here for now. Yeah. I have no idea general, if that's good uh, or not. When you start out, it's better to just kind of go for the cheap guy. Okay. I want to say. <laughs> Because you don't have the money. <laughs> now we have to make a core. Um, you, you'll also notice, oh, uh, mm -hmm. on my screen, of course, you're already way past. <laughs> it, but, uh. yeah. but uh, on my screen, you just exited the advisors. But what was also noticeable is when you were uh, trying to buy the advisors next to their name, I believe it was. You had the little plus one or the plus two, and then whatever icon. Uh, the advisor belongs to, as in diplomatic, administrative, and military. Yeah. And what that means is they generate those points. Uh, oh. The amount of points you get is kind of based on your leader. So, like, yeah. Okay. Use the advisors to. Uh, and these have a uh, beast uh, diplomatic power, and okay, yeah. and that you'll use that in the tech tree or something. Yeah. You use. Use yeah. all three points for the tech tree. Yeah. So the advisors can kind of help you out. Okay. Uh, okay. Now the score thing. Um, just spend ten administrative power to do that. It would take a month. Hover over your monarch points to see how they are generated. Uh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Diplomatic power, military power. Uh, oh, now I need to pause. Roy, always forgetting about the unpausing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I'll get used to that soon enough. Um, now I need to convert it. So yeah, because it's Sunni religion, then and now I need to convert it. Gone. Let's see. That should see on that on the yeah religious map mode. Oh yeah, there's the little Muslim invasion over here, and we're stopping that. Yeah. Um. So if you, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> basically, basically. Um. And you do that by sending one missionary. When and you uh, conquer places that aren't really considered yours and whatever, then you need to core it, and that takes time. Okay. It takes a really long time. Yeah. That just kind of prevents all sorts of nasty things, to a degree. Because there's also a overextension is when you have too many countries that aren't part of your core, hmm. so to speak. So you need to core them or else... Uh, Nasty shit like rebellions and such happen. Okay, so that's uh, for the long run. You uh, after you take them over, you need to make cores or yeah. not. Uh, it's it's kind of there to prevent you just kind of getting whole swaths of land. So there's still a bit oh. of sorts. Oh boy, rebels! Don't worry, you can crush the rebel scum. Yeah, there's like 18 of them though. Uh, and I have 22, but that'll probably be fine. Points are used for everything. Maybe Definitely. we should just build some yeah. more as well. So the it's a demo. That that's actually a good point. The administrative, diplomatic, and military points are essentially used for everything. They okay. they really um, yeah. just like yeah. 
not just tax free, but also uh, things like yeah, changing the religion of a, a city, of a hmm. province. <laughs> uh, yeah, build like even just buildings, like use diplomatic points for the various diplomo diplomacy stuff. Uh, okay. So depending on the building that you're building, you use military or administrative. <laughs> Right, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see that. And I think I got the rebels down. They weren't that hard. Uh, again, chat bringing up good points. Uh, when you have your army selected, there's a button that looks like a boot. And if you have that selected, they will auto hunt rebels. Huh. So. That is nice. If you're lazy, you can just do that. Yeah. Oh, wow, the morale of your army got pretty low there. Okay. <laughs> and there's just <laughs> only 16 of them now, but yeah, some losses. Uh, uh, as mentioned, the morale is the, like, the little green-red bar. So uh, yeah. Well, once the green is depleted, uh, your army breaks up no matter how much. Ah, uh, so you got to prevent that as well. Yeah. And okay. And that's not cool. Uh, there's various ways of getting your morale up, of course. Yeah. Uh, through the ideas, hmm. uh, generals, and all that. Just um. Even just advancing your tech tree military. Yeah, let's try. Here's that boot. Uh, here's the boot X option. So now he will. That stack will c continue to hunt rebels. When they pop up, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what Preston mentions with broken. Uh, when I was playing the game, it wasn't broken. Maybe something happened when that it did break. I don't know. No idea. Um. Let's see. Let's merge those units. Okay then. Oh, I can also split them in half, and then send half to somewhere else. Yeah. Preston, I, I think you just kind of spotted the problem. Um, <laughs> Russia. Russia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the Ottoman Empire, of course, has a bit of the problem that there's sea in between certain parts. Okay, um, so, okay, I'm starting to understand troop movements and splitting a little bit better. What did uh, the game want? Boost ability to continue. Uh, uh, shield, and then stability and extension. Mm -hmm. Where is it stability? Be, it should be in the very first page of your oh no, oh. the proxy. There's a button there, I believe. Um, not that I see. Uh, Isn't it so on tab? Okay, maybe I was wrong then. Where the fuck was it? Uh, here, stability and expansion. That's okay. a crown, apparently. And um, you can boost stability. That costs a lot of administrative points, though. Okay. Now we need to do a royal marriage. Woohoo! Um. With, uh, with, Ar with Portugal. Um, that ear little ma arrow which is moving when you're not near. Oh, I think there went the call. Hi! Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> no idea. Hi, chat. <laughs> Blames a goat. <laughs> um, so let's see. Now we're going to talk to Lisbon, new thing. Um ah, Lisbon. Diplomacy and Dynastic Action. Okay, Dynasty Action. And then you can do a royal marriage. Mm -hmm. Um and then, <laughs> then you need to be happy enough with you. Of course. <laughs> At least it doesn't take him three days to come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, say, I mean business. I, I come back right away. Yeah. 
That's much better. <laughs> uh, so a royal marriage is that easy, huh? Just click a couple of buttons. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, of course, uh, well, I, I turn of course both the game is paused, so mm -hmm. I'm pausing and then you wait a few days and then you'll get your answer back. Oh, yeah. Uh, royal marriages are indeed that simple. Um, Okay, um, no, I just, need just to do... Just read requirements, essentially, and... Yeah. Um... Ah, national decision. This is the one I mentioned earlier. Yeah, and it's supposed to be here somewhere? Uh, um... It's in the same one as the missions. The same tab, I believe. Oh, it's a mission. Okay. Oh, well, you it's, can... It's yeah, no. It's now I get... Safe. I can add a policy or something. Um, oh yeah, firm... Spain diplomatic and here what I need to do. Granada does not exist. Have legitimacy of one hundred and um Aragon ruled ruled by Castile and Aragon is a vassal of Castile. Lots of prerequisites that you need to get need to get. Mm -hmm. Well of course um, it's it's a big thing. You're suddenly merging two countries yeah. into one and you're gonna be the boss. <laughs> Exactly. Um, ah, technology tab. Finally, the tax fee. Let's see. Um, now we can unlock a noble republic. And that costs 500 points. Okay. Ah, uh, that, that is sort of sad. You, uh, mm -hmm. you didn't see the change because you were in uh, the wrong map mode. Oh. You didn't okay. get to see the, the awesome little merger. Oh. But now at least you see the mass that is Spain. Yeah, that, uh, that's looking kind of fitting. Um. Okay. Anyway, more more tutorial. Now I dear step. <laughs> Flipping table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, Kick out those money lenders. Um, there's multiple slots, and you get slots at different levels. Basically, one slot is religious ideas, and now I can do another thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh, these oh. are the social policies basically from Civ. Uh, Choose your social policies. Uh, yeah, essentially, you pick. The tree, and then eventually you can spend your your monarchy points, as people refer to them. Yeah, right. Bit by bit. Um, uh, as you can, just the, the different trees ha are associated with different monarchy points. Yeah. So you have administrative, diplomatic, and military ideas. And, uh, and choose yeah. what you want. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's Tradition, awful. honor, liberty, <laughs> basically, but uh, way more complicated. Okay. Way more buttons. <laughs> Engine is getting aggravated. <laughs> Don't pick yet, listen. What? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> uh oh, um... Yeah, it's quest for new Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna be useless anyway when he makes a real game, so we'll just rely on you, <laughs> the chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we are also useless because of the 60 second delay on Twitch. Yay! <laughs> delay is the greatest. Uh, fucking Twitch. Maybe you should try more hitbox, but uh, Twitch works and has the viewers. Um, so I need to do the quest for the new world. How do I do that? Um... We trust you, chat. Idea? Huh. Am I supposed to click on this or open this or? Asking for. Oh, I need to unlock it for 400 power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I need to. I needed to click on the pre prerequisites. I think. Yeah, uh, that was the. You click on the the little guy on the little button. Icon. Yeah. And uh, that gives you... Uh, uh, uh. I need to do it again, and then it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, as I mentioned, there's national ideas, so you have... There, there's tons of countries, of course, with just generic ideas, because... Yeah, and different ideas. They're not important enough. Yeah. Uh, but important countries have national ideas specific to them, and uh, you unlock those national ideas by just having a certain number amount of just ideas. Okay, so, yeah. It's, um, yeah, I gotta choose. And now we're going to send out Columbus. Okay, that's easy. Um, follow the arrow to continue. Okay, go here. And unpause. <laughs> Preston, you don't have to. I clicked the button. Chat. Chatmaster, Jesus, <laughs> Chatmaster is okay with you, okay? Hmm. I uh, thought so he had to go earlier as well. <laughs> uh, where are my boats? I should have zoomed in more. Here they One are. One quick kind of note is that, um, that there's, of course, like attrition on the open seas. So oh. your guys will slowly die if you aren't stopping by islands and sorts. Which I'm not really doing, I think. <laughs> uh, and it's also noteworthy that going into unexplored territory uh, yeah. takes more out of you than going out of explored territory. So Yeah, that's uh, it's harder. And the boat will stop sooner with... They also, seem to be at 100% or am I dying with them already? <laughs> uh, let's see. I have yeah, no idea. Is what 100%? It's just the, the percentages you see there on the... Uh, this is probably also tutorial easy mode. Yep, probably. Uh, the reason why you're able to explore into the unexplored stuff, by the way, is because you have Christopher Columbus on your fleet. Oh, he, if, he if, can do that. Yeah. Uh, did you actually attach him to your fleet? I didn't pay attention. If he was there, he's probably with us. <laughs> I have uh, no idea. He's there, so that probably means you did yeah. nothing to it. <laughs> but yeah, you you can see his name up there. Normally, a fleet doesn't have a oh, yeah. roll or an explorer there. You kind of have to select that. And okay. essentially, there's there's... For both sea and land, there's essentially the general, as in the man leading battles, <laughs> and the explorer. Uh, explorer can still help out with battles and such, but they're unique in the fact that, hey, you can go into unexplored stuff. <laughs> Yay, also, if you've reached the end of the tutorial. Woohoo! Woo! Um, uh, I still have no idea, really. I, I, have some idea of the buttons, but there's still st way too much information, like streaming into my head at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now to yeah, figure out what to do. Use but, light ships to explore. Don't use yeah. ships. Heavy ships are essentially just <laughs> too much information. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can say it, but uh, I won't remember it, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, also, I need to take a leak, and this is a great time for that, I think. I'll, okay, I'll stop the stream for a second as well, so, yeah, see you guys in a second. Go get to entertain them. Yeah. <laughs>